good morning to all of you welcome back to hospitality engineering now we will take one case study for the buildings electrical system you can see here substation 33 kv incomer there is out two outgoing there are two transformer both are 1500 kva now dg is selected 1250 kva two number bus coupler also there you can see in case of the one transformer one side fail so we can switch over to the bus coupler so remaining distribution you can see here the diagram is self explanatory now we will go to the tour of this property rmu what you mean rmu it is a ring main unit the main incomer 33 kva ring main unit which has one incomer and one outgoing the outgoing is feed to hd metering panel hd metering panel the metering panel consists of current transformer and potential transformer for all electrical reading so you can take kwh kvarh kvrh power factor or maximum demand peak hour reading etc you can see inside the panel metering panel current transformer rating this case 50 bar 1 amps potential transformer 33000 bar 110 volt hd incoming and outgoing panel from metering panel to sf6 incomer and outgoing breaker panel hd sf6 breaker panel the sf6 we will see separately in the next class complete detail this is just we will go through the flow from start with the hd to ld this sf6 near the transformer yard hd panel main incomer and sf6 breaker what are the safety relays you can see here master trip relay then over current earth fault relay there are auxiliary relays also available sf6 breaker manual switch manual breaker closing trip switch spring charge indicator breaker status indicator ace air circuit breaker we call it qos panel acb the 2500 amps placed in between the transformer and lt panel bus coupler operation the transformer one incomer you can see transformer one incomer transformer two incomer in between there is a bus coupler so in case of the one transformer failed through bus coupler we can able to switch over bus coupler need to be operated in case any one transformer out of order or sf6 breakers kiosk acp trip we will see here main parts identification of the air circuit breaker so you can see this red button off push button green one is on push button then here you can see breaker status there is a spring charge status spring charging lever is available here eu reset push button acp rack out lever insert point available here acp inner view you can see here there is a under volt and over volt tripping coil assembly insert position this is usually this has problem in facilities so enough steel can be trained easily to replace or to address such issues coil assembly uv closing and tripping coil assembly emergency panel you can see here from transformer to feeder from dg to feeder 
So in case of the transformer failed, the DG can be started immediately. Main lighting and power distribution panel from transformer 1, transformer 2, in between bus coupler. It is a basic design. In case one fail through bus coupler, can be power can be transferred, power can be controlled. Generator control panel. So you can see here this red push button. This is a red emergency switch. Then the fault indicators are here. Fault reset button, manual start button is available. Auto manual selector switch also available. To reset the alarm, first put the selector switch in off position and then reset. This is very important procedure in the DG reset. DGU AMF panel, auto manual panel. GCU control key should be in always start position. GCU panel auto manual selector switch in run the DG in manual mode first change the switch to the manual mode then in DG in ECC panel switch on the DG in manual. So you have to make your own instruction and stick on these switches. So it will help the electricians or others also to, to do the operation very effectively. The signages are one of the best practice to avoid the any kind of accident. GCU annunciator panel. So all the you know, readings you can see fault finding is easy through this annunciator panel. Generator control unit which we call it GCU fault indicator and reset button. Any controller anything today you can easily go and take their website manual, basically user manual, service manual. So go and study and prepare your own SOP so that in emergency your team can tackle it easily. Push button to reset the alarm. First press the and accept and then and reset to deactivate the alarm safety relays so mainly earth fault relays over current relay differential protection relay trip circuit supervision relay master trip relay reset button master trip relay so this you cannot copy just to remove the black wire for all 32 if a relay is not getting reset. This is based on the your control circuit. You have to see your control circuit, then you have to prepare. Master trip relay. In case of emergency, when all the power is shut down, separate DG power can be given to the emergency panel from this VCP. Now we will see what is power quality. The power quality gives all about deviations in voltage or current from the ID. But whether or not the deviation is important depends on the purpose of the installations and the design of the equipment. Besides power interruption, power quality issues include a wide range of phenomena including harmonics, voltage fluctuations, voltage dips, power frequency variations and voltage imbalance. Source of poor power quality. 78% of all power quality problem occurs through corroded connections, defective conduit, defective electrical devices, improper wiring, overloading circuit and improper bonding. Or just some of the elements involved. You can see the pictures. Some audit images for your reference. This is for thermographic audit. Here you see the comments. Observed high temperature on R phase back cable terminal. Check for the looseness of 
lugging and also for the load. Namely, this audit shows where the temperature is rising high. It shows as a red. Then you can see the corrective action also given. So we have to address either with the outsourcing or with our in-house team. Power monitoring is one of the important steps. Without monitoring the power, you cannot start saving. The saving start when you monitor the your power day by day. You can see here how to monitor the power. If you have the transformer 1, transformer 2, you have to maintain separately. You start from the HD side, then you come from the LT side, you see the balance, you find out the losses. Also, go through the area wise. If you have the guest room, if you have the convention hall, also kitchen, laundry. So, do the comparisons and find out you are accountable for the each unit. You should know how your power consumption is happening per equipment wise. If you know, then the switch is with you. You can be able to control the power as when required. Only thing you can avoid the wastages. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please email to me. Hope you all subscribe to our hospitality engineering. In case if you are not subscribed, please subscribe it. See you in another training session. Thank you.